Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to share some of my thoughts on uh, what Dash meant to me as a student. Uh, my name is Kier Hodges. I'm currently a Dash alumni from class of 1999. So I'm pretty old, as you can see. Um, I'm from Miami, Florida. I was born in the town of Alapata, which is somewhere between 46th Street and 12th Avenue is where I grew up. So it's an inner city, mostly African-American community. Um, with that, I went to Charles Drew Elementary School where I did a lot of work in the uh, magnet program there. I've been a magnet program student since probably fourth grade. So I had people push me in towards the field of art. I was always doodling as a child. Sometimes I paid attention, sometimes I didn't, but I still got my work done, made pretty good grades. Um, at that magnet program, I had teachers uh, I guess they saw something with me, so they just kind of pushed me towards that. They they wanted to see, you know, hey, is there something else we could do with him? So how can we get him on another learning path? And I guess that's where art came in. So with that, my parents always pushed me to think outside the box and not worry about dealing with people who are not necessarily like me. So in junior high school, uh, Dash came into play as a high school that was for the arts. Um, of course, there were going to be students there that are different, you know, they think different, they react to things different, but ultimately a career in the arts was at play at the school. So my parents pushed me towards it. Um, the cool thing about Dash was you have teachers who are not necessarily telling you what you're going to do in your future, but those teachers are also in the field that they're teaching in. And that's one thing you don't get from a lot of schools nowadays. You might have teachers that are just pushing you in all these different directions. They're talking to you about what to do after school, what to do after college, but they're never actually in the fields that they're talking to you about. So the cool thing about Dash is you have people that are in architecture, in engineering, you know, they're also teachers that are teaching you, but when they leave work, they're building something, they're designing something. So you have people who are right in the fields that they're teaching you. And sometimes you're just going to get a lot of hands-on experience or details that you would not get from an average teacher at Dash. So that's one of the main things that I learned from there. And one of my strengths I probably picked up from Dash was just how to communicate without words. I mean, right now I'm communicating without words, but if I had to depict something on a building or something graphically to you, I could do that very well. And that's a skill that I picked up from Dash and I call it um, speaking without language. So it's something that you just have to do. It's a graphic skill that you learn. And I think Dash really pushed me um, in that direction. You know, um, it's just something that you have to, you gain from Dash. Um, really with Dash, I have a connection with uh, students that are like lifelong. So these people are just like my family. They're not just students and people that I went to school with and fellow alumni. I still talk to a lot of Dash students on a daily basis. So a lot of us are architects, engineers. Uh, we're working in the field as we speak. I mean, I'm working today, but I wanted to take some time out to talk to you guys. Um, and it's just a lifelong connection of just collaborations uh, with friends and I consider them family right now. Um, one big achievement I would say Dash pushed me towards or that I have achieved since I left Dash is being able to work in the community that I grew up in. So as a child, I was always uh, fascinated with buildings and, you know, I guess my teacher saw me sketching buildings a lot. So I branched out into architecture as my discipline at Dash. And today I work as an architect, but not only do I work as an architect, um, on residential and commercial buildings. I work in a field that's kind of like my dream. So I work in aviation as an architect. So a lot of people might think of an architect as a person who just works and designs buildings, but I actually work in aviation. So that encompasses uh, dealing with airports, um, how to facilitate uh, the placement of aircraft and several other large massive vehicles in terms of servicing aircraft and how to make uh, consumers happy when they visit aircraft, the interiors of our uh, airports, terminals, things like that, fueling stations, I mean, you name it. So for me, that was kind of like a dream job. And 
today I actually have that job and I credit that to my experiences at Dash. Um, and like I said, it's given me the ability to go back and serve the community that, that the community that I grew up in, which is Miami-Dade County. So to me, that's a major thing. Um, I would say a few company that, companies that I've worked for. Um, I've worked for companies like Bill and St. Gomez in Miami, who they've participated in a lot of uh, Miami Beach re rehabilitation on some of the old Art Deco buildings. Uh, there was a partner there, Les Balance, and he was huge in that. So that was his main thing. I mean, this guy really revamped everything in Miami Beach. And he was just very instrumental in revitalizing Miami Beach. Uh, to what it is. So I was fortunate enough to work in firms like that. I also worked in a firm, Borges & Associates. Uh, they focused on a lot of overseas work. So I got to do work regarding um, uh, hotels in Dubai and things like that. But my main accomplishment was uh, gaining my position with Miami-Dade County as an architect there. And I plan to stay there. I mean, it's something that I always wanted to do. It took me a lot to get that job. And it's something that I credit Dash for. So lastly, I'd like to leave you with one question. How does your Dash success story start?